Well, hey, everybody. You know, there comes a time where sometimes it happens. A company will send you a product and you've got great high hopes for it. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. It's, it doesn't meet your expectations. This is going to be one of those times. Now, first off, I don't want to seem or even sound like I am ungrateful. I am very thankful for these companies that do send me products, and I never mean to throw them under the bus. But this company uh, called Emco Plus, let me get that to focus. Emco Plus sent me their wide angle lens for the Osmo Pocket. Well, the last wide angle lens that I reviewed for the Osmo Pocket was from a company called Ulanzi. I thought that it did a pretty good job. The outside edges of the screen were just a little bit overly out of focus with that vignetting and that really just odd bending warp look to it. Uh, and it's not like it's a wide angle lens like a GoPro with that super wide bowing effect. It was just really just warp stretched look to it. It wasn't very bad, but it was still prominent. You could still see it. And there was a lot of people that saw it and they didn't like it. And so I figured, well, let me go ahead and stick this one onto the Osmo Pocket. As always, by the way, just in case if you have the Osmo Pocket and you haven't purchased an ND filter or you haven't purchased a wide angle lens or anything, always make sure that you turn on the Pocket first because the gimbal has to go through its cycles. And if you put a lens cover on the outside of it, well, uh, some of the ND filters are actually large enough to where it'll hit the bottom and keep the gimbal from calibrating. So turn the Osmo Pocket on first, and then you can put on the lens. Now, with saying that, I tried out this wide-angle lens from this company, Emco Plus. I think that's how it's pronounced. And I'll show you some video clips right now just so you can see what I'm talking about. And then... I'll give you my final thoughts. Ah, the Osmo Pocket. Everybody loves the Osmo Pocket. I love mine. But a lot of people complain about the field of view because the field of view is a little bit narrower than what they would like. They want to be able to catch a little bit more of the side and or the side scenes, basically. So what we're looking at is the wide angle lens for the DJI Osmo Pocket. We'll take it off right now. So this is with it off. And this is with it on. The curious thing is we're going to see how's the outer edges of the frame. Are they blurred out? Do they have that vignetting going on? So I say it all the time. You know, in Texas it is hot. It is October. It is in the upper 90s. It is ridiculously hot and let's see yeah face tracking still on so the face tracking feature seems to work with this wide angle lens and i'm really curious to see how the focus is because like i said the face track little box is on me but i want to see how the focus is and how the outer edges so i'm looking at the screen right now but these outer edges how do they look are they blurred or are they rounded at all does it give that nice wide angle look? I'll take this off for a second. Well, that is a pretty dramatic difference just looking at the screen. Plop that back on. So my final thoughts about this little device is, you know, Freewell has come out with a wide angle lens that does not have, at least from the reviews that I've seen online, does not have any of that vignetting blur warpy distortion look on the outside edges uh, the only thing i did see a couple of reviewers comment about the freewell wide angle lens was that it caused the osmo pocket gimbal to do a i call it the death vibration where it just goes into a crazy vibration mode but it was just a simple hold on to the top of the gimbal let it kind of reset itself and then it was fine again uh, to me, that's a little bit problematic because if you're trying to shoot something and it's one of those, wow, this is the one shot 
and it goes into that death wobble, then you lose that shot. Um, the Ulanzi, in my opinion, I think gave better image quality because now that the Osmo Pocket has a new firmware and they've even improved the uh, phase detection and the autofocus even more, it looks better without a wide angle lens on it. It was dead on focus with this wide angle lens put on it. It, even though face lock was on, it was having trouble locking in that focus. It wasn't crisp and clean. So, you know, I'm gonna do a hard pass on this one. Uh, I, I guess, you know, I can't tell somebody how to spend their money. But if it were me and my money, I would stay clear of this. But then again, you know, if you're on a budget and you want to try it out, you know, I didn't get any death wobbles with the uh, Osmo Pocket Gimbal using this wide angle lens. But then again, it didn't happen to me with the uh, uh, Ulanzi wide angle lens either. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a hard pass on this one. And I hate to I hate to do that to a company because I just wish some companies, I understand that they everybody wants to get into the third party accessory market for whether it's Osmo Action or their GoPros or the Osmo Pocket. But I just wish that you would do a little bit more testing or research and development before you release something because... If you had stuck this on the Osmo Pocket in your laboratory, you would have seen that there's some quality control issues with it. Now they did also send me their from Micoplus, Micoplus, or is it just Mcoplus? I don't know. They did send me their ND filter set, so I'm going to give this an honest try on the ND filter set and see how they work. Uh, hopefully there's no visual image problems uh, with the glass on those. But hey, it's just my two cents for today. Um, I'm really sorry. Mco Plus or Mco Plus, the wide angle lens, hard pass on it. Uh, tell me what do you think about the image quality below. And Caso V50 Pro SE. Yeah, that review's coming up. I'm still doing some... Still doing some testing with it. So far, not bad, not bad. But until the next video, talk to you later. Bye. So what we're looking at is the wide angle lens for the DJI. DJI. The DJI. I need more coffee.